So now you've got this patient who has symptoms. They're, they're headachy. And now there's also a possibility, do they have snoring? Is there some apnea going on? And you need to do something. You'd like to do something right now to see if that can help the patient. If you took those same splints and put holes in them, we can make these today too. Deliver the upper, the thermoplastic oozes out. So it's an extrusion port. Same thing with the lower. And you take your finger and you flatten it. You take, push down, you flatten that. Now it's all cooled. That those front things are flattened. The patient protrudes and bites on cotton rolls. And they're edged edge by saying, I just want you to practice that for a second. OK, I got it. You dip this thing, that surface, in hot water so that material becomes sticky. You take a blob of thermoplastic, and now the upper anterior external is sticky, so is the lower. <coughs> Protrude, bite on cotton rolls, put that blob there. Wet cotton roll, and I smooth it out. It's just starting to turn a little bit gray. It's cooling. Now it's all cool. <coughs> And that thing's really rigid. It stays like that. You can grab this, and pinch it, and it won't collapse. It's really strong through and through connection. There's the lingual side of it. So that's a, a protrusive anterior coupled device that if the patient is, is a clencher or with apnea, they can wear this for a night or two or longer because it's kind of provisionally permanent. And you can sort of triage some people. <coughs> 